Hey guys, tonight I want to shoot a little uh, walkthrough video on E85 and how it will save you money at the pump, guaranteed. So this video is going to be very short and very sweet and I hope that you uh, enjoy it. So the first thing I want to say about E85 and mileage is you have to give it more than one tank to get a true reading. At least three tanks to clean out the gasoline uh, residue and for your, your flex fuel vehicle to adjust it a little bit and then you can get an accurate E85 reading. So let's crunch some numbers and I will show you how E85 will save you number save you money so right now locally our, our stations are regular gas is 229 85 is 184 so we'll do some more numbers here on my truck I get 11 miles a gallon on E85 and on gas I get roughly 13. It's a farm truck, a lot of short trips. I don't get much mileage on either thing I do. So we're going to crunch the numbers. To figure out your cost per mile, you divide the, the price per gallon by your mileage. So for E85, it costs me 16.7 cents per mile. And with regular, it costs me 16.9 cents per mile. So right now, I'm barely ahead with E85 figuring my cost per mile but let's do a, let's do a vehicle that's similar to yours okay we'll do a, let's say you have a car and you get miles per gallon of 20 and on regular you get 24 now that's pretty generous uh, try it for yourself every vehicle is different every driver is different temperature is different everything is different so figure it out yourself for your own vehicle and at these prices, at 20 miles a gallon, you would it would cost you 9.2 cents a mile to travel on the 85, and 9.5 cents a mile on regular. E85 wins here. E85 wins here. But so far, E85 is ahead at only 45 cents cheaper. And that now that's locally. Now there's other parts of the country where it is much much cheaper I've seen over 60 cents cheaper so we'll do regular at 229 and E85 at 166 we'll figure those numbers so E85 miles for me is 11 regular mileage is 13 cost me 15 cents a mile to drive on E85 and it cost it would cost me 17.6 cents on regular once again E85 wins okay so shop around for the best price some stations price very well some stations price terribly shop around save coupons figure it out now that's running it straight another way that I, that uh, I like to do it is uh, blended half and half and you can also figure this out by percent. So if you save 20% at the pump and you only lose 15% mileage, you're ahead 5%. You can kind of figure out that math a little bit. But I'm, I want to show you, I want to show you how uh, how you can save by going at half and half. So for regular 229. Well, these are real world prices. This is my local. So let's say you get 10 gallons of regular and 10 gallons of E85. A couple ways to blend. You can pull up to one pump, half up to the next one, half. If you're lucky, they're at the same pump. Or if you're driving around with gas, you half full, pull in, top off. Okay, that's probably the easiest way. And then the next time you fill up with gas, and then you at half you blend it with E85 whatever way you want to blend but you will save quite a bit of money doing this and if your E85 is not priced very well this is the best option so if it's 45 cents cheaper and you got 10 gallons that is four and a half dollars every tank full that's some serious savings that's going to add up. You probably, you probably uh, fill up once a week, four weeks in a month. That's eighteen bucks a month. Boom, right in your pocket. Probably more. Probably twenty bucks. 
at least. So E85 will save you money, guaranteed. It is 99.5% of the time priced cheaper, much cheaper than gas. So either figure your cost per mile or you can blend it to any blend you want. Any mixture of E85 and gas is okay in your vehicle. And uh, I, I tell people to blend slowly if a vehicle's ran a lot of gas. If you put straight E85 in, it'll kind of idle a little rough and run a little rough for a little bit until it gets cleaned out. So what I tell people that have never used E85 in a vehicle before, I tell them blend slowly. A quarter, then a half, then you should be ready to rock. So I hope this video is very informational. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still watching. I want you to check out uh, my Facebook page called Midwest Ethanol Outpost. And uh, thanks for watching and thanks for uh, researching about ethanol. Have a good night.